Okay. <laughs> All right, enough with the dog. We're going to try doing uh, constructing parallelogram W, X, Y, Z with diagonals of length X and Y. So what I'm going to do is transfer the lengths of X and Y onto my worksheet. And we'll do some stuff with them there. Sure. So that's X. And Y. Now, I'm going to do something with X and Y that you might not have thought of the first time around. It's because I've been doing this for a little while. This is number five on the second side, I believe. No, no, no. Sorry, number one on the second side. So what are the properties of the diagonals of a parallelogram? They bisect each other. Bingo. They bisect each other. Yeah. The essential thing that we're going to need to know is the midpoints of these uh, diagonals, right? Right. Because they bisect each other, we're going to need to know their midpoints. So the first thing I want to do is construct the midpoints. Do we need to construct the midpoints? Yes. Will you just make it easy? You're going to need to construct the midpoints of both. Now, when we did a square... It was easier because both the diagonals of the square are the same length, but these are different. This compass sucks. Thank you, Julia, for that news flash. My life is always enriched by your comments. And yes, you'll be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm famous on the internet. Oh, yes. <laughs> you will be. She actually is. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I follow her on Tumblr, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. So, um, somewhere on my piece of paper is the place where these two diagonals are going to meet. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark that point. That's it. That's what the, so I'm sort of doing it kind of the reverse of what you think. You think maybe you copy in the diagonal and go from there. I'm going to start with the very center of the whole operation and put the point where those diagonals meet. Wait, just a random point anywhere? Random place. Okay. Random point. We will. Yeah. Did you bisect a line or something? Yeah. Shh. I'm going to set my compass equal to half the length of one of the diagonals. Put the compass point on that center, and I'm going to construct a circle. Wait, why are you doing that? Wow. So the diagonals of this circle, the endpoints of the dia uh, diameters, rather, of the circle, define all of the possible places in the entire universe where the endpoints of this diagonal could be. So I can imagine putting a diagonal here, 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 anywhere, right? So now I'm going to draw or construct a second circle, which is radius equal to half the larger diagonal. Same center, so I've got a pair of concentric circles. How do you make the circle? I thought this wasn't supposed to be circles. It's not. Ah, so you say, why is he doing circles instead of parallelograms? Oh, how, so, okay, yeah, two circles. How do you find I mean, the, like the, link, the line thing. thing? I'm still on that because my compass like does stuff that's weird. Okay, so what you do is later tonight you go to the YouTube channel and say, And Owen is reading my mind. I'll draw in a diameter of the small circle. And I'm just going to put this anywhere I want, and I'll draw the diameter for the large circle. Now you can connect the sides if you use the parallelogram. And then... 
is one. You guys wait, 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 wait. Right? Two. Taylor's having a seizure. <laughs> She's just excited about geometry. I don't think you should put our math class on YouTube. I do. Oh, it's a parallelogram. Let me break out of it. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? No. Are you? Yeah. How do you? <laughs> How do you bisect this? Although, actually, after uh, Julia's original comments, it may not happen. Yes. Thank you. Can you um put it on private um so only our class? <laughs> No, no. I, I'm, I don't mind the, I don't mind exposing the chaos of this room to the world. Well, I don't um, either. I want to be famous, so please put up. It will be the next lady so, gone. Question. Question. How do I buy something? Julia. How do you do Julia. that? Julia. You just draw a random line. Yeah, random, random diameter on the small circle and random diameter on the large one. How many different parallelograms could I have constructed using this method? Uh, Twenty million. Yeah. All of them. Cool. No. All the parallelograms. All, yeah, all of them. Every possible one you can imagine with those two diameters, because I can choose to put those diameters wherever I want. Three hundred sixty times. half degrees, quarter degrees, infinite number of possibilities. Over nine times.